Hi, I'm Jay French at jfrenchstudios.com and I'm going to teach you how to draw a human neck. Okay, to draw a neck, we first want to know, of course, where our head is. Let's get uh, the head of this wrestler in here. Okay, here's your shoulder line and trapezoid muscles. Now even in a woman, these are this is still going to be sloped, although in a woman they are straighter, not as sloped. In a muscular man, they'll be even more dramatic and maybe even slightly curved like this. A neck generally is narrower than the jawline. That depends on the kind of person or the direct person you're drawing. Of course, if you're looking at someone, you'll know what, you, what that width is. But if you just want a, a, a feel, if you want your uh, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, you want it to be a little narrower, start out a little narrower than the jawline. Gets a little wider as it goes, but it is a slight S curve such as this. You want these lines to go beyond the lines of your trapezoids. You'll have some shadow on the side that is opposite your light source, of course. Generally there are two tendons that come down the neck, widen as they go, from the outside towards the end. Of course, you don't want to define them completely as I'm showing here. This is just to show where they are, or the person will look really old, unless you're drawing someone who's really old. Of course, in a man, you want to have a more defined Adam's apple. Again, going with your light source, shading opposite that. So you'll shade this tendon more, and this one less, until it reaches the divot of the clavicle. Now if you want a more of a wrestler's neck, you'll do it wider. Have it go actually from the jawline, like that. And of course for a woman, you'll probably have it even narrower. But it always gets wider as it goes down towards the shoulders. And that's your basic tutorial on how to draw one of the hardest parts of the human body, the human neck.